Hi everyone and welcome to Math Sucks. This video is going to help you pass Algebra 2. In this video we're going to go over how and when to use synthetic division, then we're going to factor polynomials using synthetic division. So synthetic division is an easier way to divide polynomials versus long division. And we can only use this method when we're dividing a polynomial by a binomial in the form of x minus c, where c is a constant number. So it could be like 2 or 3 fourths, just a number. So let's look at an example. Divide the following polynomial, x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 24 divided by x plus 4. So notice right away that we can use synthetic division here because in this case we're dividing by x plus 4 which is a binomial that looks something like x minus c. So the first thing we're going to do for synthetic division is we're going to create a little table and then we're going to just bring down each coefficient in our polynomial into this table. So here the coefficient is always just that number before the variable. So here there's a 1. Here we have 5. This is, we're going to include the minus sign, so this is negative 2. And then over here we have negative 24. And we're going to put a number over here also on the outside of our table. And this is just going to be C. So notice, so this is plus 4, but over here we have a minus C. So we're, we're always going to be negating whatever this number is. So this is going to be a minus 4. So now that we have our table set up, this is our synthetic division table. Now that we have everything set up, we can perform our synthetic division. So to do that, we're just going to bring down this 1. Now we're going to multiply 1 times negative 4, which gives us negative 4. So now we just multiply these two, 1 times negative 4, and then put our answer over here. And over here, we're just going to be adding these together. So 5 plus negative 4, or 5 minus 4, is just 1. And then we're going to do the same thing. So it's, it's a pattern synthetic division. So 1 times negative 4, this gives us negative 4. And then we add these together. Negative 4 plus negative 2 gives us negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 4 is 24. And now we want to add these together. Negative 24 plus 24, which just gives us 0. So we're going to look at our answer, and, but before we do that, there's something interesting. Notice we get a zero here. Because we get a zero here, th this actually represents a remainder. So the last number, when you do synthetic division, the last number on the right that you end up with, this is always the remainder. And when remainder equals zero, we know that x, that means x plus 4 is a factor of this polynomial. So, so we know that x plus 4 is a factor of x cubed plus 5x squared minus 2x minus 24. So now we're going to identify our answer. So our, our answer is right here. So from this, we're going to get the solution x squared plus x minus 6. So this is the solution, but let's look at y. So the way I did this is by taking the coefficient. So notice here is a 1, here is a 1, and then the last coefficient is just the whole number 6. So we take the coefficients and notice we have these powers in descending order. So we have x squared, then x to the first power, and then no variable at all, no x's at all. And the last thing is, so the reason we started at x squared is because when we're dividing the synthetic division uh, using binomial in this form and everything. We s notice we started with an x cubed and now here in the solution we start with an x squared. So with a synthetic division you're always starting the solution when you're writing the answer out. You're always starting with the power that is one less than the polynomial we started with. So let's write out our answer so it's nice and clear to see. So we have the answer is x squared plus x minus 6 and that's our answer. So something really cool about synthetic division is that it can also be used for factoring polynomials. So if we take a look at this next question here, 
we want to factor the polynomial f of x equals 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10x minus 12, given it is divisible by x minus 2. So when we're given all this information, divisible by, this is an x minus 2, that binomial, and that same form is x minus c, right? Then we know that we can use synthetic division and that we'll find a remainder of 0 again. So to solve this question, before we do anything, notice our polynomial 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10x minus 12. So notice we can actually take out a 2 here first before we do anything, take out a GCF. So if we divide this whole thing by 2, we're left with x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. And so this is what we're actually going to use to do synthetic division. So let's look, do the same thing, but we write out the coefficients. So this is really a 1. And we have 2. Here I'll put minus 5. And then minus 6. And just draw our, our table here. And this time our, it, it is divisible by x minus 2. So the number that goes on the outside here, so remember, since we have a minus 2, we're always going to negate that number to put out here. So we're just going to put a 2 here instead of a minus 2. And now we just perform our synthetic division. So we'll bring down that 1. Now remember, we multiply 1 times 2, and then put it over here is 2. And then on this side, we're adding. So we have 4 over here. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 minus 5 or negative 5 plus 8, however you want to think of this, is 3. 3 times 2 is 6. And then negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So our solution from just doing the synthetic division tells us that our polynomial divided by x minus 2 is equal to x squared plus 4x plus 3. And we get that remainder of 0 again. Another way to look at our answer is also to say that x squared plus 4x plus 3 times x minus 2, the, the uh, binomial we were just dividing by, is equal to, this is all equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. Because remember, the goal here isn't to just divide, here we're trying to factor. So we just broke down, by dividing, though we just broke down our polynomial a bit more. So we said that this whole thing is equal to our answer, x squared plus 4x plus 3 times x minus 2. And so I'm just going to put a 2 here also, because don't forget, we also took out that GCF up here. So this is like our first step, our second step. So this is actually equal to this, 2x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. So now we want to factor even more though because notice we have we still have more to go. So notice we still have a quadratic formula here. So let's just um, put move this to the side and factor it. So we have I like to do product sums. We have p equals 3, s equals 4, and here we can get 1 and 3, because 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 plus 3 is 4. So this we can rewrite this whole section as x plus 1 times x plus 3. And then we could just bring these other guys down, x minus 2, and then just bringing down this 2. So putting this all together, we, we ended up factoring our big polynomial from the beginning. So this is going to be our answer. 2 times x plus 1 times x plus 3 times x minus 2. So let's say I get that answer, but I I don't trust myself, right? I don't I don't feel confident in my answer. I'm new with this at, or it's a test and I want to check my answer. So the great thing about these problems is that we always can check our answer because now we can just distribute our answer, what we factored, and check it with our original function. So this is our original function on the right, and this is our answer that we just got on the left. So let's um, let's do this one step at a time. So let's just focus on on multiplying these together. So we have x times x is x squared 
x times 3 is 3x. And now let's go on the other side here, plus x, 1 times x. And then plus 1 times 3, so that's just 3. And then we'll bring down the rest of our, so we have the 2 still, and then we also still have this x minus 2 over here. So just bringing this down. So notice um, we can simplify what we just found. We can do x squared plus, we can combine these two, 3x plus x, which will just give us 4x plus 3 times x minus 2. So now let's distribute everything here and see what happens. So we have x squared times x. Let me just bring down that too. So we have x squared times x, which gives us x cubed. And then we have x squared times minus 2, which is minus 2x squared. And then now we're going to distribute this 4 plus 4x squared minus 8x, 4x times minus 2. And now we have this 3 here. So we have 3 times x, which will give us 3x, and then 3 times minus 2 minus 6. So let's combine everything we have in here. So we have x cubed, then we have negative 2, minus 2x squared plus 4x squared, which gives us plus 2x squared. And then we have minus 8x plus 3x, which gives us uh, minus 5x. And then we just have, so we just combine these two guys. And then now we have just this whole number, minus 6. So we're almost done. Now we just want to distribute this 2 to every term. So let's do that. So we, doing that, we get 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10x minus 12. So now if we bring down our original function, which is 2x cubed plus 4x squared minus 10x minus 12, notice these check out and we factored correctly and our answer is right. So if you're looking for more questions like this, check out the practice questions on this next slide. The answers are up on my website, mathsucks.org, if you want to check the answers out. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe. Happy calculating. Need more practice? Check out mathsucks.org for more questions. Link below. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Happy calculating.